Flux? Mervis? He's sponsored by What the Flux. That's dope. Okay. I think he probably paid for his entry. He is uh, <laughs> one of our local Samus mains, so we all know how we feel about floaty mid tier. Yo, love him. Love him, <laughs> love him, love him, love him, love him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, Mervis is a cool guy. I do not know anything about his opponent, so I'm about to learn some, some business. We Mr. Rijob. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, Duff. Okay. This is so this is what I want to see from Burbs. Is he's keeping it simple and he's boxing him out early. Now, what he'll do, you might see later on, is if, if he tries to test his opponent, um, he'll sit at the edge, crouch, get true crouch, and then use down smash to roll them off stage. Guaranteed you have uh, Falco, who already has kind of a lackluster recovery. Uh, he's a bit fragile off stage. He's not he's it, he's definitely gonna be able to whip that out more frequently than not. He already oh, takes the wow. chance to get it extended. I like that. Goodness. Okay, um, Already what I see right off the bat, Rhydon is being very aggressive, but he's not getting the hits he needs off of this Samus. It's tough as a Spacey when you play the, like a Samus and you you don't know the matchup because stuff like this happens. Right. You come in with a whiff attack and Mervis does three moves and you're dead. Yep. And we're, here we are with a sick two-stop <laughs> was he, If he would have gotten a charge shot off of Randall, that would be incredible. I would have cried on strength for happiness. Oh my god. Dude, this is, this is what's fun. It's like, so Mervis is one of those guys who's been, who I've been watching and he's just been leveling up more and more. Um, oh yeah, he's a, he's pretty solid. But you know that level where it's like you you play people that just obviously don't know like, how to what to do against your character, or just they're kind of inexperienced in the tournament environment. He's gotten much much better at taking care of these people. But he's uh, done a pretty good job in the edge guard and just kind of flubbed it there at the end. But he's fine. He's sitting in a good good position. Something I noticed that all of or the Samus players here that I play, they love that wave dash back and then just to mess you up. Yeah. But, uh, that's, uh, I don't want to say it too loudly, but uh, you you have to be on the lookout for that. Down zone. There. Stock. Yeah, man. That's that's one of those killers. The knockback. Uh, the knockback growth on that is pretty strong. So, Mervis is sitting pretty, so he can fool around a little bit. Yeah. Um, I don't see Raijab taking this one. No, we, I don't um, think any of us do. I spoke <laughs> very soon. You spoke <laughs> no, just at good, the right time. Good stuff to Mervis. That match looked like Mervis knew how to fight Falcos and Raijab did not yeah. know how to fight Samus's. That's exactly what it is. And I, I can't say I blame him. Um, Samus is kind of hard to, to find someone who's good yeah. with him. So there were things like I saw Raijab like dash attacking into him. And yep. Samus's just eat that up. They just crouch, and then they'll down smash. Yeah, and then you're sent And off. then you're just in this super long hit stun that's Absolutely. completely punishable. This is... Wait, what? Uh, Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> okay Looks like having we're fun. having some fun. <laughs> okay. This is one of the... Dude, I used to love this stage. Yeah. This was back in my free-for-all days when I was learning the ways of the game. Yeah, this is where everyone's so much more free-spirited. I remember when uh, we were younger, everyone used to say, the moon that's in the back... If you left the game on for long enough, it would come closer and closer and closer to the stage. Uh, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't really. Know. I never I don't tried. Remember? Did you? Were you a big Majora's Mask player back in the day? I haven't beaten a Legend of Zelda game. Okay, dude, we're just like equal frauds. Me either. <laughs> I was Triforce hunting in uh, was it Wind Waker, and I loved the game. And I stopped playing for like two weeks, and I just didn't feel like playing anymore. A Link to the Past was like my favorite game. But that was, that was like a young But game. we're still like super busters because we didn't finish the, the games we enjoyed. Right? Exactly. I think I just like hit some weird moment. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to play if this I, anymore. If I played as much as I played like Smash, I would have beaten all of them like eight times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, up there speed running. I do watch the speed runs occasionally. Oh, yeah. For, for awesome like, games Ocarina of Time. Yeah, Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker, because those are the only ones I'm familiar with. Absolutely. Really. I'm not gonna watch Majora's Mask because I don't even, I don't know the game. Mervis is having some fun. He's just waiting for for Raijab to approach, and he's gonna crouch cancel, and then he's gonna just down smash and just flip him back up. Well, look at this out. wave dash back. Look at those tilt wave dash back for days. Okay, so let's let's talk a little bit about what Raijab should be working on. Um, so. <laughs> Coming seriously enough to not go here. That 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 <laughs> that's, could be a start. That's step that's step number one. Um, you could he doesn't have to play seriously. He's if he's having fun. No. Then more power to the man. Yeah. 
um, everyone on stream trying to just talk about other things. No, yeah. So <laughs> here's the thing: is like with when when it comes to improving, first thing you can do is well, what you're doing now is go play in a tournament, get someone to record you, watch the footage. Um, ask yeah. yourself what you were thinking in certain situations, and ask why you're getting hit. That was a great choice, dropping down with the back air. There was, there could have been a tech from Mervis. He didn't get a chance to. Or he didn't do it properly. No! That a rough line. That sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry, um, dude. You could do that mid, mid set. You know, it does. This game takes a, quite a bit of mental toll on you. But like mid set, you're just like, why did I just get hit by that? Yep. Oh, because he wave dashed back. And well, then smash attack me again for the fourth time. Exactly. Like, let me not run into this next time. Right, and and that's the thing that, that you're going to be building, right? When you go oh, into these, yeah. oh, wow. Oh. When you're going in back and analyzing your footage, what you're doing is asking those questions that, that are necessary to help you grow. Once you get to that point where it's like you understand it, you're breaking it down, um, try doing that in next time whenever you're in the match. Oh, he could have... He's going to keep daring. Okay, so if you're going to get a dare, if you get a dare as a punish, you need to see what you can get after because if you got that dare right there, I want to see back air immediately after. Or I want to see if you're going to be able to jump off and do rising dare and push um, or down underneath the stage. There's, there's a couple of options. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Also, being aware of what options your oh, opponent has in certain range. grab. You just jumped on and went for it, man. That was a good choice. Oh, dash tag. Yeah, see, luckily he got... Those ones are a little safer because they get pushed off stage, you know. So... There's the down tilt there. No, he's just waiting. He wanted to see a reaction out of Merv. Excuse me. He oh, wanted to see a this is right. totally doable. Let's go right job. Give him the Falco treatment. Oh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> Immediately just back aired into his death. Oh, gosh. Right job. Here's, here's the best advice that I'll give to you. So, luckily, Falco's a bird and he can just fly away. Otherwise, he would drown in this giant it's lake. He's got those metal legs, man. Um, but the best thing that I can tell you, right job, is do your try to see if we can work on breaking down and analyzing why things are happening. Understand things like threat zones. Um, understand people using uh, using those, those movement options to also move in and out of those threat zones. Um, also, there's a great article. Just look up Footsies 101. Fantastic, uh, I guess book or article, see collection uh, of articles. I don't know what Footsie's 101 is. I have no idea it's what really that is. It's really good. Oh, you make sure you check it out. It's fantastic. That's fun. I, I, 